So if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I am keyword tool crazy. And I want to show you the three best keyword tools that'll blow your mind. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna throw you my three favorite keyword research tools. And the first one is called Answer the Public. And you'll see here on my screen, I've got this is very strange man, bald man with a ridiculously large sweater. I don't know what that's about, but this tool is super cool. I learned about this tool when I was in Australia speaking last year. Guy came up to me after a program and said, you gotta check this out. And I've just been a fan ever since. So what you do is this takes all of those searches related to. So when you Google something and you see that drop down box, it grabs all of those and actually makes sense of those in mass. So if I come in here, so you put SEO or whatever, this is a free tool by the way, love free. Um, you're gonna put whatever keyword it is you want. Now the trick with this tool, answerthepublic.com, is that you can't go too long. So you wanna kinda of stay short and, and to the concise on this one, so it can give you all the recommendations of the longer version of these. All right, so you hit go. Now we're gonna come down here and it's gonna pull all the keywords. You'll see here it pulls all the questions from search results, all the prepositions, all the comparisons, all the alphabetics. So you're gonna get a keyword palooza of information here, and probably more than you ever wanted to know, and it does these really cool graphics. Check that out, what? So I geek out over these images because they're so flipping cool. But what this does is it tells you all the different ways in which people are using the word SEO in their searches. But it aggregates it all together and then you'll see here, it gives you this amazing uh, circle and it's why, are, where, can, will, which, when, how. So all the different ways that people think about one specific keyword. Now this will keep you out of trouble and in your basement for a really long time if you're just gonna talk about these things. So not all keywords have this kind of profile, but that we've seen that there is great recommendations no matter what you put in here. So those are the questions. Now you can also just pull down the boring data for an Excel spreadsheet. You can also save this beautiful graphic right there and you can save it to your desktop and then impress your colleagues with that fancy graph. Now we're gonna come all the way down. Now we're gonna look at the prepositions. And here you'll see here's all of the prepositions that you get for every possible variant of SEO. So you'll see, can SEO help your business? Can SEO be automated? No. Can SEO be, uh, let's see, uh, SEO can be leveraged by an organization, of course. Uh, let's see, SEO, can, how can SEO help my business? How can SEO help improve my sales? Wonderful, wonderful questions in here. So this tool takes all those questions and actually makes them into something pretty, but also it gives you this treasure trove of information that you can now create. And you're, you know you're dialed right in to the how people are searching, which is super awesome. Okay, so then we have comparisons, this versus that. SEO versus pay-per-click, SEO versus SEM, SEO versus, so you get all the versus ones, which are great for findability as well. And then you get the A to Z. So anything that people put in that is um, SEO, and then they also put in another variant. This grabs all the A's, puts them together, all the B's, all the C's. You are never gonna run out of content uh, with this tool for sure. So this is called Answer the Public. It's one of my faves. It gets lots of oohs and ahs when I pull it up. I always love those moments. Uh, a ta-da, another ta-da moment. So the next tool I'm gonna show you is a tool called Word Art. Now you guys have all seen these ridiculous word clouds. I think people use them like QR codes. Do you guys remember QR codes? They were a big deal. They're in my, every single chapter in the back of my chapter of my second book has a QR code. Not sure they work anymore, but they're in there. So what we can do though, is we can use this word cloud tool to evaluate our content, our live content on the internet. So let me show you this. This is called wordart.com. And it's a really simple word cloud tool, but um, it takes you just a little bit deeper into how you can use this for, for findability. So you're gonna click the create now button right there. Now when we come in here, we're gonna take a look at we gotta import it from somewhere. So you go under words right here, this big gray box, you're gonna click on the word import right here. Now, then they give, they give you two other smaller boxes, so just stay with me. They go text, which is a default, you wanna hit web. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on here, I'm going to put my domain name. You can put any domain name. You can put a competitor domain name in here. You can put your domain name in here. You can also do a longer variant of that, like a blog post or something that has a longer URL. But I'm just going to put in my website, findability.com. Now here's the cool part. You'll see here that it has pulled all the keywords. So what this lets us do is we're able to understand how a robot is piecing together all the different words in my page. So at the end of the day, Google's a robot. It comes to the page, it grabs all the content. I always think it takes all the content, pops it into a blender and hits frappe and all the chunks rise to the top. The chunks are the keywords that are most repeated on the page. Therefore, those indicate what the page is relevant for. Then we go in here and we hit visualize and we get this real pretty word cloud. So you'll see that meet, findable, SEO, and online are the primary keywords that are most repeated on my homepage. So if I don't want those to be findable for those phrases, then I'm going to have to go in and retweak my homepage to have different keyword repetitions. So meet, findable, SEO, and online, those are the things that tell Google what that page is about. The ones that are most repeated are the biggest words in this word cloud. And I, this is just so interesting to me. Now, a couple ways you can use this is, oh, also you can come down here and you can turn it into something more pretty. So you can go down, you can look at here, oh, I'm going to turn it into a bird just to keep it interesting. Then you hit visualize again, and now it will be a bird, which is a lot more interesting. There you go. But keep in mind that the same words are still in there. The ones that are most used most often are still the biggest keywords in there. Now, how I use this is when we hire content writers or we write a blog or a press release, we pop the content into here and we run it to make sure our, what is what we are writing actually saying what we think it is. Are we writing a piece of content that's actually relevant for the phrase that we're trying to SEO for? So it's very important that sometimes when you go down to write, you get off track, you get caught up in the syntax, or you just kind of go off on your own path and you're not really talking about that topic anymore. This is a way to really verify and validate that you're actually speaking and writing for SEO. So you know that the biggest words on your word cloud are going to be the keywords you're trying to optimize for. So this is super cool. I love this tool. You can also go in and you can insert body copy right into this tool and it will evaluate it just based on something you're writing right now. It doesn't have to be something that's already live on the internet. You can also run competitor websites in here too. If their keywords are all messed up or their biggest keyword is like about or home, that means they haven't done any SEO on their website. So that might give you an indication that if I do SEO, I might actually stand a great chance of ranking above them. So it's kind of a little, little trick there. So the next tool is the Keywords Everywhere tool. And I love this tool because it is a Chrome or Firefox extension, meaning that it's going to show up in my tray. So I'm at the keywordseverywhere.com. You're going to go ahead and you're going to go to settings right away, right as you get it. And it's going to give you an activation um, code. And you're going to want to enter that in back in settings. It'll email you an activation code to your email address, and then you have to put it in. Don't worry about it. I haven't gotten any crazy spam from them or anything like that, but this tool is worth giving them an email address. Even if you have to go out and, I don't know, make up a Gmail account and then do it through there. I'm fine with that. Just make sure you set up the, it's like, it's an API thing. It's really simple um, and it makes it infinitely more easy to use this tool. All right, so I'm going to reset this. Now, when we come back to Google, let me show you how this tool works. So this will tell you information in Amazon. It will tell you in any major shopping portal, anything that has a search bar. When you go to search for it, it's going to give you the exact amount of keyword volume for each one of those pages. So if I come in here, I'm going to type in rose gold because I'm obsessed. So the first thing that comes up is rose gold statement ring. It tells me right there in gray, 170 searches a month. Rose gold, not surprising because they're cool, gets 90,500 searches per month. Rose gold hair, hmm, I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, that's 60,500 searches a month, so apparently that's a thing. Rose gold dress, rose gold nails, rose gold Apple Watch, I've got pretty much all this already. But you'll see that the, 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 the keywords that are coming from the Google database are being shown to you real time in your search results. 
which is amazing. I'm kind of intrigued about the hair thing. I'm not going to lie. All right, so I'm going to go with the hair. Rose gold hair in three easy steps. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. Okay, so when we're in here, we go to the very bottom. Do you see this? They give you every single keyword, rose gold short hair, rose gold long hair. How long does rose gold overtone last? Like you get every single variant of that. And then you also get the search volume for each keyword. So everything you ever want to know about rose gold hair is right in front of you. So you're a stylist, you wanna do something edgy and fun, you write a blog post or create a video on rose gold hair, you know you're gonna hit the mark. And then to even get better, I can now go on and I'm going to talk about toner, I'm going to talk about ombre, L'Oreal, I'm going to talk about it on black hair, red to rose, ooh, that sounds pretty, that gets zero searches. So probably not something we want to do. But we could, there's lots of other options here, so, like here, rose gold hair color formula. You know, these are, there's a, there is a keyword for everything. <laughs> I mean, we have, in my, you know, decade and a half of doing keyword research, I have seen everything. But what makes this so cool is that it's integrated right inside search results. You don't have to go to a fancy keyword tool to use this. So answer the public. That gives you those amazing um, graphs that shows you all the different ways that people search about any given topic. The next one was word art. When you want to check your work and you want to pop a piece of content into word art, create that little word cloud and see if you're actually talking about what you think you're talking about. And if that word that shows up in the word cloud is nice and big, then you know you've hit your SEO keyword. And the final tool in my vault is keywordseverywhere.com. Install the extension, it is amazing. And I get really excited about this, which is probably not normal, but this stuff really shortcuts our learning and our ability as entrepreneurs, as marketing teams, to cut to the chase, create content that people want, and these amazing tools, I'll be talking about tools all through my YouTube channel, but these are my favorite today. So hey, if you love this video and you geek out on tools too, like I do, make sure to subscribe to this on my channel, hit the bell that's right next to it so you get a notification every time I release a new video. And uh, we're gonna keep geeking out on tools. So go find those, answer the public, word art, and keywords everywhere. You'll love them.